So our solution is the purpose-driven access. Some registration data would remain public to promote the internet stability and meet basic DNS needs. Um, this public data would still be accessible by anyone for any permissible, perm permissible purpose without authentication. So yes, you'll get some information. You will not get what you see today. We've looked at all of those issues and um, we've with the purpose-driven RDS, we think we've, we can prevent some of those misuses. So you have the existing domain um, name data, and you see all the little cross hatches there? These are all gates, gated data. But don't look at a gate as one big gate. You don't unlock the keys to the kingdom and walk through. You go through into a hallway with a lot of doors. I would prefer maybe to call them doors or a lot of different gates. And it depends on your purpose and what you've told us about you to access the data. So you have to, you know, when you go to the front door, you don't get to just walk in. You have to tell us, who are you? And what are you using this for? Which I think is very important. If you want to know somebody's personal data, you, you have the duty to, to provide your own. So most of the data is going to be dated, gated by default. When you look at the uh, full, the record, the minimum public data, which I'll show you in a second, but there's th three categories of this. So there's a large category there on the left, domain da name data supplied by the registrar and registry. That's creation date, renewal date, you know, updated date, statuses, things that you need that others may need to use and, and view that's supplied by the registry and the registrar. Um, and then the top right is the registrant contact ID. So there is an ID associated with that n number, again, associated with the registrant. But the, there's only minimum public data available. And then um, also in that minimum public data is the purpose-based contact IDs. Once again, a number, nothing else. So if you are not telling us who you are or telling the RDS who you are and why you want the information, you're not walking through the door to get more information. So this is an example of that same, basically the green chart I just showed you. So you'll see to the left is the registrar and registry data. All of that's just important for everyone to see. And there's no public or personal information on the left-hand side. 